In 2012, researchers at UGA started a study that focused on an isolated population of black bears affected by such things as development, traffic, and hunters. Yeah, and Kenny, uh, their focus was mainly in the middle Georgia area, in particular a 15-mile stretch of Highway 96 that is currently undergoing a massive expansion project. Uh, recently, I sat down with Dr. Mike Chamberlain, a UGA professor of wildlife ecology, who tells me that the study is going better than expected. This project has been, from a researcher's perspective, has been, has, has gone almost flawlessly. And also money well spent, considering the research team was awarded nearly $800,000 in state and federal grants to determine such things as the size of the bear population in middle Georgia, as well as survival rates. Early estimates had that population number at around 300 black bears. The 300 number came from a previous study that, that uh, came up with a density estimate and then extrapolated based on the area that they thought bears occupied down there. Our estimate is more confined to the area around the Highway 96 corridor and Oakey Woods and Okmulgee wildlife management areas. And our estimate was closer to 160 uh, as of this past year. Basically, the project is set up in two phases in, in essence. One phase is focused on capturing and radio marking bears, and that's specifically associated with the DOT expansion project. And what we do there is we use foot snares to capture bears in the summer. We outfit those bears with global positioning system collars. It has a, a GPS chip in the collar. And those collars upload locations through email to our researchers, my field staff, who are then able to, to real time understand where those animals are in relation to that highway corridor. Part of the State Road 96 expansion includes special bridges similar to these that would allow the bears and any other wildlife to cross under the road instead of over it. According to DOT records, 10 of the 20 confirmed black bears killed by vehicles in Georgia between 2003 and 2009 happened along Highway 96. According to Chamberlain, the expansion project seems to be already working in the bears' favor. Bears at this point are not crossing Highway 96 that frequently. They, they walk up to this, this very wide corridor that's now, as, that's now present as they're expanding the highway and they're, they're hesitant to, to walk across that, that highway. Whereas the secondary roads, these two lane county roads, the force comes all the way up to the edge of the, of the road. So they feel much more comfortable uh, crossing the road. And our speculation is that as DOT places these underpasses under the highway, the bears may actually become more comfortable in crossing the road because they're not being asked to look out across a right of way and cross above the road, they can actually see under the road right. and will be able to cross that way. A person with the Georgia DOT tells me those bridges will be located right here in Twiggs County. Now, the original plan called for somewhere in the neighborhood of six bridges. However, Dr. Chamberlain says that number could change. We're working with DOT now. They, they've provided us with the planned underpasses and now we're, we're taking our telemetry data from our bears, the GPS collar data and overlaying it to try to better understand whether they need all of the underpasses, whether they need to alter the location of some of the underpasses, um, or whether some of the bridges that they've planned will suffice as an underpass. So that's what we're actually doing right now.